Hello, uh, welcome. This is uh, I Go Travel uh, with Don Barnett. We're starting at the south end of the Alaska Panhandle and working our way northward and stopping in at uh, all of the communities. Wildlife, beautiful scenery and rugged country. It's all part of the Inland Passage uh, up Alaska and we are headed that direction. Uh, let's look at Ketchikan, the first uh, larger Alaskan community north of uh, Prince Rupert, uh, British Columbia. Uh, we put our camper uh, on the boat at Prince Rupert and took it off at uh, Ketchikan for a few days. Uh, we did uh, this kind of thing in the other uh, communities uh, as we worked our way northward up the Alaska Panhandle. Uh, come and join me in a unique part of the world. Ketchikan is one of the ports where the big cruise ships land, and we were there when some came into town. This was our first look at Ketchikan, water on one side and a steep mountain on the other. And buildings were often built like this uh, that uh, uh, created uh, unique uh, construction uh, challenges. All supplies were brought in by uh, barge, and uh, boats and aircraft were the order of the day. Ketchikan had a small Walmart. Uh, cruise ships from uh, Washington and Vancouver and many small businesses uh, catered to the thousands of tourists who flocked onto the now very crowded uh, small streets in the towns. Jewelry was a hot item. Uh, whenever uh, cruise ships came in, there seemed to be jewelry and gift shops everywhere, all claiming uh, that uh, the merchandise was only local product. Sometimes I wonder if it uh, was all, all local product or if it uh, was the same product shipped around the world, all claiming to be local. Maybe it doesn't matter. The tourists were all happy. I took uh, this picture in one shop. It says at the top there, why are we not on your ship's recommended shopping map? Because, it says, because we do not pay a kickback to anyone, and we pass the savings on to you. Uh, so, uh, it seems that uh, sometimes cruise lines have a business arrangement with some of the shops, sending their tourists to certain shops for a percent of the sales. Sometimes, I was told, the cruise lines even own the shops and tours. Uh, it is all part, I guess, of marketing tourism. Here was uh, something we did, a ride on a water duck with wheels on land and then on into the water around uh, the bay and the shoreline. It was uh, a lot of fun, and these local tours are certainly worth taking uh, once you're in the place. They're very informative and uh, generally pleasant to do. Ketchikan has uh, an abundance of uh, totem poles that reflect the cultures uh, of the indigenous uh, people. Uh, very colorful uh, and artistic and uh, just a, a treat to walk around uh, the, the town and the area and look at these uh, creative carvings uh, of, of these uh, totem poles and masks. The indigenous groups uh, in the Ketchikan area are uh, common throughout this part of the Pacific coast. Uh, they are the uh, Clinkett uh, people that tend to be north of uh, Ketchikan, the Haida people south all the way down to the Prince, Prince Rupert uh, area in British Columbia, and the uh, Shimshian uh, who uh, tend to be a little more inland. All have a uh, unique and interesting and rich culture. Uh, here are some more totems uh, in the uh, Ketchikan area. Some were uh, newly uh, carved and uh, painted totems, uh, uh, while others were uh, aged uh, over the many years. The Tongass National Forest is the largest in the U.S. and covers much of the Alaska Panhandle from here uh, in Ketchikan to uh, north to Skagway. Big uh, ancient trees abound and growth uh, everywhere along the coast here uh, is uh, lush and uh, picturesque. Uh, lumbering, uh, fishing, and some mining uh, have been the mainstays of the economy. 
but that new kid on the block uh, called tourism continues to rise. Uh, the water continually runs uh, down the hill toward the ocean. Uh, this uh, is a long uh, term well known uh, street in uh, Ketchikan. The street that, that built, uh, it was built up on each side of the banks and it was called Creek Street. Today it is the, a popular draw for uh, tourists, uh, particularly those uh, who disembark off the cruise ships. Uh, every, everyone seems to want to walk and shop the tour shops of Creek Street in Ketchikan. Because of the uh, steep terrain, it was easier to build uh, over the water than up uh, the, uh, the steep mountainside. As you can see here, uh, buildings were built on stilts. Uh, narrow sidewalks in the area, but great uh, place to be. It is a nice place to visit now, and for some, it has always been a nice place to go. In years past, uh, 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 Creek Street was the red light district, and it had an advertisement well known to all. Uh, here is the sign that meant... Uh, Welcome to many, and it has become a tourist attraction today. Creek Street was uh, where, as the sign says, uh, where both men and salmon came upstream to spawn. It uh, looks like uh, the fish are still going upstream. Uh, brothels were banished uh, from the main part of town and operated uh, for 50 years along the creek until uh, 1954. Uh, a path uh, today, uh, you know, leads up uh, to houses above uh, uh, the area there. Uh, and the path was called uh, Married Man's Way, a trail that was used by brothel patrons to escape police raids below. Uh, today, uh, uh, you can hike uh, this short, uh, but still a popular trail. In an area dominated by men in uh, logging and fishing, it was only a matter of time before women arrived. In the 1920s, there were over uh, 20 body houses on Fish Creek. Every tourist uh, shop you go into today was at one time a body house. Uh, the police were kept busy in keeping uh, some control over the prostitution. Uh, but the other main area of concern for the police was the smuggling of illegal booze into the community. Whenever you have a prohibition in one country, along the border, if the adjacent country does not have prohibition in terms of booze, uh, there's a demand there and an opportunity to supply the country that's under prohibition. And uh, at one time, the U.S. had prohibition, no booze. So no booze in Ketchikan. Where does it come? From a little bit south down the coast. From either uh, Prince uh, Rupert or the other uh, community uh, uh, big and active at that time was the Canadian community of Stuart, B.C., up at the head of the canal near Hyder. And uh, we did a, a, a travelogue on, uh, on Highway 37 uh, going to Alaska. And you can pull into Stuart and see that. That's the place where uh, the bears... You can watch them uh, eating salmon, and you can uh, drive up the big salmon glacier for 40 or 50 kilometers and see it. And we made a video in there. Anyway, the booze came from either Prince Rupert or uh, uh, Stuart in, in B.C., where there was no uh, prohibition. The booze flowed freely, and they brought the uh, booze uh, from uh, those communities north up to Ketchikan by boat. And they came in at high tide. And when the, at high tide, the water, of course, came, came up high. And uh, you saw those stilts there that the buildings were uh, built on uh, uh, along the creek. Uh, when the water came up, the water came close to underneath the uh, uh, decks of the balconies and the buildings. And the buildings had trap doors. They opened up the trap door. The tide was high. The boats were elevated. In came the booze boats. And the booze was just easily handed through the trap door to the customers, the American customers, in the buildings. And that's how the booze was supplied during the days of prohibition in the U.S. and in Ketchikan. 
uh, Ketchikan had uh, quite a few uh, nice uh, modern buildings and well-groomed uh, uh, places uh, like this one here. This was one of the museums, uh, a totem pole inside the main lobby and the really artistic uh, pictures on the walls. I saw this uh, painting on a wall that was done uh, by a classroom of uh, kids and uh, it really had a good message. Besides, the painting was very good. Uh, look what it says. Individually, we are one drop. Together, we are an ocean. The message really resonated with me. I thought it was really good. Uh, here's a few uh, f historic photographs built on a hillside then and now. Uh, you can see a uh, school, a mission school here, some of the kids. Uh, Ketchikan is not a recent community, always been active in, in the arts and, and band and music. And it's that the same way today. It's quite an artistic community. Here's one of the main streets and some of the folks in uh, beside the uh, washing lawn. They had baseball and uh, various sports. Here's some indigenous people. This is the early 1900s fire department, an old uh, biplane. One of the early ones, and of course, uh, fishing with uh, fish traps has always been popular. Look at the fish caught in, th in these uh, traps here. Old timers working the fish nets. And of uh, course, logging here has been a long term mainstay of the whole Alaska panhandle. And this is one of the big early uh, trucks used in the logging industry. Let's go back to the artist's side of Ketchikan. It's an artistic community. Uh, look at these paintings here. I've shown you uh, some of these uh, in uh, the, uh, another travelogue. But uh, here's a mermaid uh, playing her music uh, in with the fish. And uh, we saw quite a few of these kinds of paintings, very colorful and artistic uh, and very creative. I'm uh, not an expert photographer, but I got a reflection in my pictures from the window here you can see outside. This was inside of a building with some great paintings in it. And uh, just great paintings. Again, there's that reflection. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it was in a restaurant uh, type of place where you could sit and, and eat, and you can see that uh, in the reflection on the left-hand side. But again, the, the artistry was just uh, terrific. On the bottom it says, uh, preserve the balance uh, with the fish and the uh, birds and the animals. Uh, a lot of uh, interesting themes. Uh, here's a joke, ain't no nookie like Chinooky, reference to the Chinook salmon. Here's fish playing uh, fish and chips, but chips are in a card game, a poker game it looks like. And here something uh, about taking a selfie with your camera, a shelfie. And... Uh, Trollers and gill netters feeding the world. And uh, this is an issue. A fish are not for farming at the top. Uh, it says eat wild salmon. Uh, you know, there's the issue between uh, should there be fish farming or should uh, it uh, be uh, discontinued. All right. An interesting place. Well, let's see what some of the other communities are like as we uh, head north up the Alaska Panhandle. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Uh, that does a couple of things. It enables us to bring uh, more videos uh, to you uh, a lot easier. And uh, what it does, uh, the only obligation, there's no obligation other than uh, it'll tell you uh, when we're uh, uh, posting each of these videos as we work our way up the panhandle. Okay, let's go catch the boat and head north. <laughs>